Dump it. Pull the scope right for wind. Okay. Oh, definitely a magical place, but it's not easy. It's a grind. Hell yeah. Hey, Tom, congratulations. I found him. Oh my god. It's him. Dude, so Dude, my man, he's a toad. <laughs> you guys know how to hunt these elk here, that's for sure. Oh, look at that mass on that buck. Wow. Oh <laughs> my gosh. kind of hike down here this morning and then work our way back up and just kind of every 15 feet you get a different angle um, stop there glass move a little bit stop there glass and just work this whole rim's edge probably up a mile and then turn around we're parked roughly in the middle so we don't have to walk back as far but um, every morning there's been new elk in there so tank has water in it we're gonna sit kind of above it and not move until Jimmy repositions us and if it doesn't have water in it then we're gonna go west of him hop on another knob and glass all the stuff that he can't see then we're gonna shoot a big bull let's do it So there's a ton of beds and sign um, on my way in here. They could be laid up in these trees anywhere. Um, well, damn it. Saved us some walking, but I was hoping that had water in it. A little oasis out here. No one else would monkey around with it. I'm gonna take this like sweeping ridge right here. We'll be able to look off that backside on all the stuff we haven't seen. I just see the elk just run right up to you and you just shoot them. Yeah, we don't like to do that, that's too easy. So we've given up on any easy methods and we like to struggle for five to six days before we have any sort of opportunity. Let's get some dust in here, it's way too clean. Let's do it. So two bulls 
like 30 to 40 cows have just run out here on the snow. They're still in the flats working southeast towards us, so. They might just still be hung up down at the bottom. Yeah, okay. okay, we'll cruise over there and check it out. we could get without pulling the trigger. He had a bodyguard. That cow saved his life. That was a good, nice bull. I didn't even see those two close ones coming through until in the scope all of a sudden like... That was cool. <sighs> we almost did it. Two hundred. You dialed? center one inch low one inch right but that'll work that's all we need I think you need to get to the north side of that knob yeah we're about a mile out there's a truck headed that way right now just let me know if anything changes but we'll head that direction contact yeah it wasn't I mean he's bugling so not long so not long otherwise that would hurt a little bit too much to rip a bugle with yeah a bullet through your lungs we Are you sure it was him bugling yeah there's two bulls and there was two bulls bugling right now his cows were chirping he was bugling uh, but we'll put in the time to next two hours in here looking no mm -hmm. won't pressure him at all yeah and then hunt him tonight hunt him in the morning um, and if, we, he, if it changes where we don't start to see him with the herd again, we'll be back in here gridding, but um, nope, we don't want to pressure him too hard. Mm -hmm. That was a fun hunt. Smell of gunpowder in the morning. <laughs> Burn your nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we should go right in or wait? All right, there's one other homeboy in here parked where we've been parking. He's like got there early and just took our spot. So, um, yeah, 
just heads up that dude's back here too. Well, they're out there bugling. So, okay. game on. Still kind of skirting the trees out in the flat still. Okay. We will move 200 yards down. I see it. There's actually like seven cows on a spike that I can see right now. Copy. We had uh, a whole line of them at 220, just walking through one by one. And then, uh, yeah, homeboy freaking just drove through them all. They look pretty cool when they run away, man. They look real big from the backside. Yeah, I love watching them run away. Now what do we do? Eight o'clock in the morning and we're hosed. This is an example of some of the challenges that we have as outfitters and guides. Typically, most of our hunts are public land hunts, and especially in Arizona, with 90% of the lands are on public. Hunters, you know, will be in an area that we've put a lot of effort in, and again, you know, they, they put their effort into, and we appreciate that. And it's really unique because this bull's bugling in mid-November, and this is a big bull. And having the opportunity to chase these big monarchs and these big bulls is really, really what it comes down to. And we just have to have everything come together. You know, there's gotta be a little bit of luck. I don't care how much skill set you got. Sometimes you gotta have a little bit of luck. In this situation, we had some bad luck. Josh left here with a big smile on his face, saw some big bulls, had some great opportunities, but you know, always aren't gonna have success on a hunt by killing. It's about being out there with friends and family and enjoying the outdoors. So we're very grateful. And uh, remember that guys, you know, why are you there? And you gotta ask that question. And hopefully it's for that hunt opportunity and a hunt experience.